It'll be one to go this time by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. We started really good, really strong in the short, like the first 30 laps or 40 laps of the run, we had the fastest car, then it just seemed to go away really, but it used to get really tight. Um, tried to work on it, couldn't really do too much. Um, at the end, we took four tires pretty late. I thought, ooh, not the right call, you know, P11, P12, and then, you know, we restarted like P9 or 10 or something like that. I passed a ton of cars, just every restart, like three or four cars every restart, and I got the mark. I thought I had him, you know, I was running beside him, I was like, oh, I'm a little lose some power, but I think I can, you know, get enough just to the line, and he, he cleared me coming out of four, and then when he went to one and two, he just stopped in the bottom, uh, it's okay, you know, I was, I didn't expect that, I was expecting him to pretty, run pretty hard, he just ran very defensively, and I, I just caught, got caught by surprise, I think if, uh, if I would have been prepared, I probably would have gone to jump to the outside or something, but it's one of those deals. We didn't really have a race-winning car until probably 50 to go after we came out though on that green flag pit stop and we were catching the five and the two really, really fast, a half a second a lap. And um, I was like, man, if this thing goes green, we got a shot at it. And uh, the caution came out and I knew that wasn't uh, going to be good for us because it put us in the bottom lane and I just, I got killed every single restart on the bottom lane and I'd get stuck three wide in the first corner and then I'd have to battle my way back. So. To come out second uh, when I should have been about fifth uh, with those restarts, I was pretty proud of that. On the restarts, he did an awesome job. We got him on the top, which was <laughs> was a good thing. He's not a huge top guy, so uh, restarting <laughs> on the top worked out awesome. Uh, and uh, held off some tough, tough competitors. Like I said, I think Kurt's really, really good here. Uh, and Jimmy behind us, and then Juan was probably the fastest car in short run all day long. So. That was all Mark. I don't think our car was better than those guys. Uh, I think our driver was. So uh, it's really, really fortunate to win this race. It's a great momentum builder for the chase and uh, gives us, gives us uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of pep in our step going to Dover. It's pretty incredible the, uh, the way the fans have rallied behind um, our effort and our success this year. Uh, makes it even more special. Alan uh, has really pulled off something big to figure out how to win a race with me here at Loudon. It's a big deal. Uh, I don't get around that, this place that, that well. Um, and uh, the guys, uh, we came up here with a great attitude uh, with the pressure off of us uh, that we've been carrying around uh, pretty much since the fourth race of the season. And uh, they had a great plan for the car and they got, uh, got the car uh, uh, in race trim uh, strong lap times and uh, strong enough that I thought, gosh, if we could stumble around and get in the front here, I think I might be able to stay. And uh, he figured out how to do that too. So uh, uh, it's, uh, it's an incredible accomplishment. This is a very frustrating racetrack. Uh, track position is so incredibly critical and lane choice is so unbelievable, you know, as well. Uh, and uh, he had the fastest car uh, today. But uh, I fought for that. This is NASCAR Newscast. Mark Martin fired the first shot in this year's chase for the Spring Cup title race when he scored the victory in the opening race of the championship season Sunday in the Sylvania 300 at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Martin was locked in a furious battle with Juan Pablo Montoya in the closing laps of Sunday's race at the One Mile Oval and was out front when A.J. Allmendinger spun out of the front stretch on the final lap to bring out the caution and end the race with Martin scoring his fifth victory of the season and his first career Spring Cup win at New Hampshire. Came up here with a great attitude uh, with the pressure off of us uh, that we've been carrying around uh, pretty much since the fourth race of the season. and. Uh, they had a great plan for the car, and they got uh, got the car uh, uh, in race trim, uh, strong lap times, and uh, strong enough that I thought, gosh, if we could stumble around and get in the front here, 
Last week's Richmond winner, Denny Hanlon, was able to get around Montoya on the final lap to score a second place finish for his seven straight top tens. When you see at the beginning of the race, the top ten, and they're all chase guys, you're like, man, I've got to fight for every position I can. And track position means so much that I think every hole that you see on the racetrack, you immediately go for because it doesn't matter if your car is two tenths faster than the car in front of you. If he runs your line, you're not going to get around. Montoya, who started from the pole and made his 100th career start on Sunday, finished third with Jimmy Johnson shooting for a fourth straight series championship fourth and Kyle Busch rounding out the top five. It wasn't a good day for Chase contender Casey Kane, who suffered engine problems early in the race and was credited with a 38th place finish that dropped him to the last spot in the Chase standings, 161 points out of the lead, which is held by Martin who has a 35-point advantage over Johnson and Hamlin, with Montoya 55 behind and Kurt Busch fifth, 65 back. The chase now heads to Dover International Speedway for race number two next Sunday, the Triple A 400. This is NASCAR Newscast.